opportunity because you are in fast people. Because sometimes you may not get the correct information and you will be misled. So many people have been asking me questions. I've been reading on pages of newspapers where people are making insinuations that government is something and therefore that means the government is vindictive. That is not correct. I want the, all of you to get the correct uh, story. In 2014, precisely 8th of December, one of the subsidiaries of Sahara Energy bought over our gas turbine built by Dr. Peter of this administration to the tune of $308 million. I didn't say thousand naira. I didn't say thousand uh, dollars. I said three hundred and eight million uh, dollars. Hundred million dollar today is about thirty-five billion. So thirty-five billion into three hundred million into three, we give hundred and something billion naira. On the eighth of December, twenty fourteen, I came on board. On 29th of May 2015, how many months? How many months? Five months. What was left in the account was $208,000. From $308 million to $208,000. Olympia was sold. That property belonged to River State and the government of Bayasa State was concerned for 40 years to one of the subsidiaries of Sahara Energy. One company, using three companies to buy everything that the state government had. Another subsidiary of Sahara Energy but took over the entire Abonima Wharf where they said they were using for their logistic base. One company through their the three subsidiary companies. When we came on board, we said, how can this happen? We set up a judicial commission of inquiry. So that people must get the truth now. When you when they say oh, vindictive, who is vindictive? The judicial power commission of inquiry, headed by Justice Omeriji, a serving judge of River State, inducted so many people in that report. Inducted even the man whom I hear, I don't know the party. I don't know the one is running. <laughs> so, they appeared before that panel, and the panel made a recommendation to government. And government came up with a white paper. The man's political godfather, who is the Minister of Transportation today, went to court to challenge the white paper report. He lost at the state high court. We said, no, don't implement. He has gone and appeal. He went to court of appeal. He also lost at the court of uh, appeal. Then the former attorney general, my late attorney general said, look, we must have to implement because there's no state of execution of that report, of that uh, um, uh, judgment so we can implement. Unfortunately, as the Petrogenia set up the machinery to implement the report, he died. As he died, it's okay, hold on. When we get a new attorney general. The new attorney general came and of course, he had to study the whole documents so he would be well appraised with the facts. And he came and said, no, there's not inhibiting us from implementing the white uh, paper. So, and government that's okay, start implementing small, small. Don't go all the whole hog. So when people now say, look, we did this thing because we are vindictive. Vindictive of who? I guess who? It's not me. It's like you're implementing judge, uh, um, court uh, judgment. What's my business? The problem they have 
is that rivers people have now come to know how can one person through three companies buy over the entire property, entire uh, uh, assets of River State uh, government. Then the same person you are bringing now, I don't know which faction, to now go for River State. Then how do you think, how do you think that would be? No, no, it's not, it's not for me, it's for you to say, not my business. But my business is to bring it to your table. I don't know whether it's coming from all the way their own side, or it's coming from the other side. I don't know. I don't know. But you see, it's important. Can't count. Can't count. Yeah. Yeah. So it's important for us to know. Not to, on radio, oh, they're being vindictive. Oh, you're chasing away investor. Which investor? You came and took what belonged to us. And then you now want to come back to govern, to cover up and acquire more. Will you ask allow that to happen? Oh. Instead of them to tell us the simple uh, truth, they begin to carry propaganda. Oh, it was being vindictive. Who is vindictive? Who is more vindictive? The people who sold all our assets and then want to come and take over power. People must know the truth. And it's only when we know the truth shall we be safe. And that is the simple truth. So no amount of blackmail, no amount of blackmail, anybody who does not like it, the court is there. Challenge what you have done, what you have done. That the time, the game is up. You cannot do and begin to hide under certain cover. Some people say they will turn here to be like Lagos. One man decides what will happen. So that's the same thing that will happen here. Rivers and Lagos, are they the same? No. Are they the same? No. We, do we speak the same language here? No. Do we have the same culture here? No. Rivers State is made up of a lot of uh, uh, nationalities. Unlike Lagos, unlike other states, we have one man. But here, you have a chain, you have a body, you have a body, you have this, you have that. Now only one man from one area will say he will dictate what will uh, happen. Fa, 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 fa. The chairman has a culture of reciprocating gestures of love shown towards him. About a chair, the apex sociocultural organization of the people of a chair nation, having made these observations, Within your first term of office and in consultation with the people, with the people, we want to assure you that we shall return this show of love for a change nation by voting en masse for you in the forthcoming general election. <laughs> your Excellency, sir, having known you, and the love you have for your nation, we are convinced that when you are sworn in on the 29th of May 2019, you will execute more projects <laughs> and give a chair more attention. Chief Governor of River State, the project governor. Hey, a chair. Uh, why stand it on existing protocol, Chairman? Permit me. What we are witnessing today, we've never had it so. When the whole executive governor of a state come here to rub shoulder with the chair people, about a chair for the first time, this year ended, we are ushered in greater blessing for a chair nation. You are welcome. And may our government continue to grow, grow, and grow, and grow. Because the blessing we gave you at my palace at Indash, almost four years ago, hey, we are, we are now reaping the benefit. We are reaping the benefit. So all what my people have said, we, are, we have endorsed it. And may you continue. The next election will see you successful. So that we complete more work.